Let me tell you the magic secret in the car business. Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy. In this video, you're going to see a sales meeting that I had with my team. This is important. I don't care if you're a top sales pro, what industry you're in, if you're leading yourself or you're leading a team. The tips you're going to get from the sales meeting I just had will elevate your game and change it forever. Check it out. If you don't know who you are, will it affect how you talk, how you speak, and the way that you work? If I believe my outcome is going to be X, Y, and Z, my outcome will be X, Y, and Z. Can I explain something to you? When you talk to somebody and there is no doubt in that person's mind that they can do what it is that you want them to do, do you do business with them? Yes. Yes. Just think for a minute that you don't know the secret sauce to getting somebody to where they want to go and they'll think that you don't have the secret sauce. Number one, we need to believe we have. You know why I'm fucking dangerous? Because I truly believe that the information I give people is the secret information that they change their lives. The way that I speak to them it's not like I am transferring information to them to hope that they can take it in. People get information all day long. Matter of fact, so many people have watched so many YouTube videos about motivation that now they're watching stuff and they're just watching it like this. And they really don't even get inspired. When you speak to somebody, can you see while you're speaking to them their mind change and their mood shift? Can you? If you can't, that's a problem. Let me explain this. There's two types of people. A guy over here that's trying to sell you to believe in what he's saying. And then there's a person over here that believes and is unreasonable about the way that he believes in what he is that he's telling you that isn't a sell, but it's a fact. That guy's unstoppable. Which are you? What's more powerful? For a guy to tell you all the products that are inside of a train or for a person to actually be the trainer. Be a great speaker, be a great closer, have lots of energy, be motivational, inspire you while I'm speaking to you, and then say, you're what I want to do. Not you have what I want to do, like if I do it, hopefully I'll see it. The fact that I'm speaking to you, I'm already seeing you. Do me a favor, while we're talking on the phone, on the right side of the piece of paper, I want you to draw a gem. On the left side, I want you to draw your, your dreams. Jail is making just enough money to pay your bills. You'll be in jail your whole life. Your dream is going to have you do certain things and you have to meet those demands to meet your dreams. Hey, I don't have money. Yeah, you do. Don't give me that, okay? What you aren't willing to do is to meet the demands that your dreams require for you to hit. The demands to get your dreams is the conversation we're having. If you don't do what I'm asking you to do right now, your dreams will not be met and you will stay in jail. Yeah. Black and white. There's no gray area in this. You have to make a choice right now. Okay? Is it going to suck investing money that you don't have? Yeah. Do a life what's hard, your life will be easy. Do a life what's easy, your life will be hard. Go ahead and do what's easy. Walk back away, stay the same, keep the same mindset you have today, wish for things to change and nothing will change either. The deal is you haven't had the right training. You haven't had the right accountability. You haven't had the right training because the right training you don't have. <laughs> I know why you're still in jail because I got it. So what you're getting right now, you're getting because you don't have this. So what should you do? Run to this as fast as you get. Ask me a question. Can I start it now so I can get out of this place? Yes, you can. Okay, you're a leader, you're a manager, okay? I'm gonna ask you a question. Have you ever remembered somebody say something? Uh, anybody's ever taken you under the wing and invested in you, right? Okay, remember that person? You remember how right now I could ask, has anybody ever invested in you? Did they help you change? Who was that? Can you tell me their name? Let me ask you this, Should your whole sales team have your name in their mouth? If I was to ask them question, that question, you can tell me that your guys look up to you, but if I asked your guys privately when you weren't around, who do you look up to, would they say me? Tell me that you're sitting on the title. I'm not happy. I told you, you want to be like running around like a manager sit behind the desk with entitlement, or you want to really be on the front line and be a leader? Do you think people need to be spoke to this way? Okay, am I, am I talking down to the guy? No, I'm actually giving the guy free advice. And if the guy says, Andy, so, cool bro. Hey, listen to me, I tried average, I hated it, but a lot of people don't. Have a great day. Mm, I'm like, dude, hold on. I'm not average, you're not. When you're making average choices, you make a job average decisions. Most people have the same life next year that they have this year. I mean, most people, hey, what are you gonna change to make it different? Huh? Keep working hard. Let me tell you the magic secret in the car business. You wanna know the secret? Yeah. 
Work hard on yourself when you're doing your job. This business is going to tell you every day to work hard. Am I right? And you're going to become addicted to working hard and you're going to work really hard and you're going to lose, lose yourself along the way. You're going to get duller, you're going to get angry, you're going to become deluded, and guess what? You're not going to be quick on your feet and you're not going to be somebody that anybody's going to look up to because you're an old, washed out that works hard and he never worked on himself and you never became somebody who people wanted to be. Okay? What does it take? Sacrifice and discipline. If you want more time and money, what do you got to give? Time and money. Guess what? Make the choice now. Get what you want later. They work harder on yourself and they do on their job. Will they naturally go back and work harder on themselves? Yes, but now they're what? Working on themselves. If they're focused on working on themselves, which they didn't before my phone call, what happens? Well, they're going to go get the life they want. They're going to get shot.